Welcome to this week's Shannon's Lifestyle. And this week's episode is all about inspiring and young women. Thank you so much for being here, Claire Thank Hazard. Thank you for having me. Claire Hazard just won the Miss Philippines USA Tourism 2019. And the pageant was actually held in Glendale, California, yes. right? It just happened last week. Yes, on Sunday, yes. And thank you so much for taking the time for being here. Thank you for having me. It's such a pleasure. So before we get started and getting, mm -hmm. you know, on, onto the real, you know, real yeah. <laughs> thing, um, can you tell a little bit more about what we need to know about you? I'm Claire Hesser, and I'm 17 years old, and I'm your new Miss Philippines USA Tourism 2019. And where did you grow up? I was born in the Negros Ex Escalante in the Philippines. So you came from Philippines? Yes, so I moved what, when I was age? around four, four or five, yes. And you, are you the single child here in the family? I have a, a half-brother. He's I six. I see, <laughs> I see. Yeah. And you're here with your parents together? Yes. So my okay. whole family is over here. I see. Yes. And being a 17-year-old beautiful young girl who just won the pageant, what's your feeling right now? It's honestly haven't sunk in yet. You know, it's a big responsibility to hold this title. You have to. You have your family and friends supporting you, and you have people looking up to you. So it's always a good idea to be a good role model for others, especially for my family. So what inspired you to actually enter the pageant? Self-confidence mostly. I wanted to push myself. You know push myself out of my comfort zone and I just want to help my family out back in Negros because I believe that they deserve the same opportunities that we have here in the United States and I want them to know that through education they are capable of doing that. And do you think that this, you know, um, participating in this pageant improved any of your personal confidence? Or yes. What is the outcome? How do you feel? Especially with um, public speaking being in interviews like this, talking in front of people, I feel well, you're like... you're a shy person before. Yes, Are I'm you a very serious? shy person, yes. Really? <laughs> it's wow. hard for... But with this pageant, I learned how to engage in conversation Brought with others. Brought you out of your shell. Yes, it definitely did. And it's good because now I can use my voice as a platform for others who feel lost, you know. And through my advocacy, I get to help children understand that they are capable of doing what I'm doing. And what did you do to improve your shyness and you know, your public speaking. My mom, she's totally helped me with like, you know, talking more, engaging in conversation with others. And just being around my pageant sisters and like the producers of the Miss Philippines, you know, they've really helped me gain this self-confidence that I didn't know that I had. And what is your advocacy? My yes. advocacy yeah. is to help children, especially back in my hometown, to help them succeed with their education. I believe that edu education is really important and it really helps you become a better version of yourself. And I believe that knowledge is power and without knowledge, you know, I feel like you can't really the, be the best person that you can be. And it's kind of like your own story, right? Yes. So um, maybe you can share a little bit more with us? Well, what you went through and mm -hmm. you know, there, I, I'm sure there were some you know, difficult times in your yes. life. My family has done so much to provide for me, coming here into the United States and building this platform so that my family can have a good, just be, live comfortably, you know. And so I want to live the rest of my life thanking my family and letting them know that I'm appreciative and very grateful that they've sacrificed so many things to help me get where I am today. And I wouldn't be here without my family. And when you talk about your family, do you mean the immediate family or are you yes. also talking about my the aunts family and uncles. back in China? I have so many aunts and uncles. Yeah. <laughs> my mom. Yeah, it's my mom, my stepdad, you know, the whole family. It's just from the Philippines. We all moved here at a, they, I moved here at a very young age and they've helped support me through everything and they've provided a lot for me. And we also know that you have a foundation, right? Yes. It's called Hazer Foundation? Yes, the Hazer Foundation. And what foundation. does it do? So we give scholarships and, um, you know, school supplies and clothes to kids back in the Philippines in my hometown, Escalante. And it's mainly just to help them realize, like, we're, we're, help, we're here to help you. We're here to help make you feel comfortable with, because I've been in their place before. And I feel like I just want to teach them that with education, if you really educate yourself, you're able to do anything, anything that you put your mind to. And when did this foundation start um, I could say about 2015, 2016, so we've been doing that's, it for a that, long that's time. That's before you even yes. participating in the pageant. Yes. And just has been your passion since then. Yes. You know, I just want to change someone's life. I want someone to know that they're being loved. They, I want them to feel comfortable and I just want to, the feeling, knowing that you're changing someone's life is, is it, it's hold dears in my, it holds dear in my heart. 
I see. And how has your life changed from before you won the pageant and after you won the pageant? Well, I've definitely become a more confident person. And just being on interviews like this, it's hard for me to break out of my shell. But thanks to the pageant, I feel like I've become more comfortable with who I am. I've heard it's pretty hard training. Yes. Walking so in tell, heels. T t t t tell, me, tell me about your, like, your whole day you know, that's being trained. As You're a... in heels and like for 10 plus hours a day. And you know, especially with the question and answer, it's very hard because you don't know what they're going to ask. Yes, I saw the Q&A yes. part. Yes, yeah. it's very hard. You know, you're up on the stage mm -hmm. and you feel this pressure. Yeah. And sometimes it's hard to really, because your mind just kind of goes blank for a second. So you really have to take a deep breath in and think about what you're going to say before you talk. Because it's hard, you know. Do they also teach you all those? Yes, the... we've been mentored. Okay. Yes, we, they use practice questions like, what's your advocacy? What's, you know, what's your life in 10 years? It, it basically, they've helped us a lot to um, practice for it. So it's, what did you do to practice and to improve your public speaking at the beginning? You know, for anybody who actually have problems mm -hmm. speaking publicly. To be honest, I just went for it. I just, <laughs> I just went, just... But, but how were yeah. you able to even break out of that show? Talking with my friends, my pageant sisters, you know, backstage we would hold, e hold each other's hands. We'd be like, so what's your advocacy? We would just practice back and forth. And I feel like when you're practicing, educating yourself, um, you, get, you get more comfortable with the idea of talking in front of people. Sounds like not only you know, did it mm -hmm. help you to break, your, break out your shell, but it also helped you to make a lot of friends. Yes, those, my pageant sisters mean the most to me. It's like a lifelong friendship that I can't ever get rid of. Like they, they hold a special place in my heart. And they've helped me, they've supported me. I would have nervous breakdowns be backstage. And they'd always tell me that it's okay. And we also know at the evening gown section, you were wearing mm -hmm. a beautiful, stunning gown. Yes. And um, it's being specially designed by a famous designer back yes. in the Philippines, right? By Francis Liberon, yes. Oh, he, and he said the, his inspiration for this gown was the alluring sunset of Boracay. So, of course, yeah, well, is an definitely island, bring yes. like a <laughs> flash of light, that's for sure. Oh, thank the you. The moment you enter the room. I'm so proud to be able to wear a piece of his. He's very... You know, he's very good at what he does, and I'm proud he's a work of art, and I'm so thankful to be able to wear one of his pieces. I see. And um, usually, would you say, what is your um, daily life in general, you know, like, when as a student? Mm -hmm. I know you're 17 years old, yes. and, I mean, do you have any plans for the future? Do you think there's going to be any changes to your life afterwards? I know you just won mm -hmm. the beauty pageant, yes. but how do you envision that to evolve? Well, right now, I'm going into college soon in August, so I would, I'm would i working on getting my master's degree in business, and my family has real estate and production businesses, so I'm hoping to really be in that environment and help my family out. So in 10 years, I hope to be able to support my family and help them do what they do. Like, um, no, I mean, you're, you're actually saying the exact what I was going to mm -hmm. ask. Okay. And what about for, you know, to people who is looking up to you right now, you know, as their role model? And mm -hmm. can you give them one piece of advice? What would one that be? piece of advice that I would like to give young children, especially like, like me, I was once in your shoes, and I want them to really be grateful for what they have, appreciate what your family has given to you, and really just be confident in yourself, believe in yourself, believe in your dreams, believe in your goals, your aspirations. Anything is possible through education and with the help of God. Thank you so much again for being Thank here, so Claire. Much. Thank you. And thank you so much for watching the show. And again, my clothing for this episode is being sponsored by David Tapaz, a very famous contour designer located in Las Vegas. Thank you again so much. Thank you. Yes. And I'm wishing to see you next week. Oh, don't forget to write to me about your thoughts for the show or if there's a place you'd like to see in the town or if you think your business is a real highlight of Vegas life and want it to be featured. We always do a lucky drawing among the viewers at the end of each episode and send out different surprises each week. No strings attached. So maybe you're the next lucky winner. Thanks for watching Shannon's Life of Style. Don't go away. We'll be right back.